All right, so we are looking at the WFO JL ice chest rack. So first off, all you JL guys running spare tires on the back of the Jeep and never getting a flat and your tires getting old and cracked and dealing with carrying around all that weight, here's your answer. Uh, put a tire plug kit in the back of your Jeep, go with the ice chest basket. This is something you use every day. Uh, I keep mine full all the time. So I take this, this Jeep out wheeling, I drive it to work, we go to soccer practice, we go to barbecues. It is always full of something, whether it be waters, white claws, beers, you know, vodka, food, whatever you want. Um, I usually load it with ice once a week, stays cold all week. So this, this particular setup here, I have a Yeti 65 on it. So the Yeti 65 fits really good with our ice chest rack. Um, one of the things you're gonna ask yourself is, well, somebody's gonna steal the ice chest from you if you leave it on the Jeep year round, which I do. So this was our answer. These are tie down straps from Steel Core and they have a steel core inside of them. So they cannot be cut off with a knife. So whatever you're putting on this rear rack for your JL, whether it's an action, action packer, uh, this Yeti 65, another ice chest, um, an ARB, whatever you're putting on here, um, in conjunction with these lockable tie down straps, that's our answer. So we sell these as well, comes with a pack of two, also comes with two matching keys. So they're both keyed the same, but you lose one key, have the other one for a spare. Um, most bumpers for the JLs do not have a provision for the license plate. So this setup kills two birds with one stone. As you can see, this particular version has the license plate relocated to underneath the rack. Um, moving the license plate off the bumper, big deal. Most aftermarket bumpers don't have it. So it comes with the camera mount, the license plate mount, and a third brake light and license plate illumination. All aluminum fits together great. While you're looking here, you can see that I also have a Rotopack. So the Rotopack doesn't come with the ice chest basket or the license plate mount, but we just want to let you know it works. So this is a 392, and recently we went up on the Rubicon, wanted to make sure we had some extra fuel. So two holes drilled in the bottom of the basket there, and boom, the Rotopack mounts right from the bottom here. Happens to be a white Rotopack for water, but being in California, we didn't want to have any of those uh, carb compliant anti-spills, so I might have accidentally put fuel in the water tank and it pours really nice. Um, so that's a good option, you could add that on yourself. We don't sell the Rotopacks. Um, some of the cool details are, has uh, bottle openers in each corner. Um, the aluminum has been uh, kind of time sanded, it's very clean looking. You can put it on raw stainless steel hardware or you can powder coat it yourself. We don't offer it powder coated. Uh, it comes with the footman loops in the actual uh, package with the ice chest rack, just not with the tie downs. Um, very easy to mount. The instruction sheet is awesome. Follow the instructions, bolt it right on the back of your JL. Does not fit JKs. Um, we got a Bronco one coming soon. But other than that, pretty simple. Ice chest on the back, paired up with our rear JL cargo basket. You put all the stuff up here that you don't want to use every day. And then when you're on the trailer camping or wheeling, you put the stuff underneath here that you want to get to, like your swimsuit, your snacks, your camp chair, where if you're going to pull off the side of the road and jump in the river real quick, you don't want to have to get up and unstrap or unratchet things up in the top. So in here, throw all your junk in. I mean, I even have my, uh, my Santa suit in here trying to get rid of, ready for 12 rigs of Christmas. Whoa! Got my lawn chair there for soccer practice. So real easy to get in and out. The ice chest sits low enough in this that when you're driving in the Jeep, you're looking in the rear view mirror, you can still see out oncoming traffic and cars. Actually gives you a, a little bit more sight than if you had a spare tire on here. So basically, uh, carry a tire plug kit, get rid of your spare tire, Fill it with something that's really important, liquids and an ice chest, maybe a little bit of food, but this is a great addition to your JL. Hope you like it.